Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'll explain how you could run a Paddle OCR as a service using a fast API. So let's uh, jump my environment, my screen, and I'll explain <coughs> how, how you could run it. So first of all, you can find all working code in our um, GitHub repo, uh, where uh, our solution Sparrow is implemented for uh, document extraction from data extraction from different kind of documents. And over here, you could go to Sparrow data, and then you'll scroll a bit, and this uh, uh, section in a readme file for fast API service. And over here, I explain how you could uh, run the service. And part, part of this service, one of the endpoints, uh, it implements OCR endpoint, which allows to call uh, Paddle OCR, <clears throat> and you can pass either image or PDF. Um, and uh, if it will be PDF, then it will be automatically converted to image, and it will be processed by uh, Paddle OCR. So this is how it looks like uh, if we open uh, Fast API uh, schema. So uh, there are uh, other endpoints to get information about the data set, which uh, you could use for ML model fine tuning. And another section is OCR. Over here, uh, this is the endpoint which uh, uh, you would use to uh, pass image and extract data. And if I minimize this one, there's another endpoint which returns uh, statistics about uh, recent or all <coughs> OCR service invocations, and you could get uh, the stats and, and see if the service is running. So if you do go over here, then for example, I can choose a file, and this could be a PDF, a receipt, and this is the Sparrow key. And uh, Sparrow key, uh, a couple of you already asked me what is the Sparrow key. So the idea of Sparrow key is um, uh, when uh, the service is deployed to uh, some public, um, for the public access on the cloud or whatever. Uh, so I want to protect <coughs> this deployed instance uh, uh, just to make sure that service is not overloaded and uh, the service can be invoked only when the key, uh, correct key is provided, the one that is set uh, on the backend on the server side, on a cloud instance. And uh, since Sparrow is open source, if you run and host all the solution by yourself, then you could set obviously your own key uh, as uh, on, on, on the server side and then you could use the same key value on the client side when you call the service and everything will work fine. So in this case, uh, I execute and this one is uh, local deployment. Right, and yeah, so it will return the data. In the meantime, we can switch to uh, development environment and yeah, it says that it was processed and yeah, so here's the data from the from the receipt. And the thing I like about um, Paddle OCR is that it's out of the box. It's able to group um, different words or uh, numbers that uh, relate to each other, that uh, seems to form a, a relation, a sentence, and it returns uh, sentences. So this might not be uh, good for... Uh, some of these cases when you want to have individual words and you want to assign labels by yourself and group words by yourself. But uh, for other use cases, when you want to get um, as much as uh, possible data to be grouped, then it's, it's useful. <clears throat> okay, so now let's look into the, into the code. So um, this is the API folder and this OCR uh, endpoint is implemented uh, under the script. So this um, uh, post uh, method is defined run OCR and uh, we pass uh, input parameters over here. And let's see. <clears throat> so we're using typing. Right. And yeah, so we, we, we pass the parameters. Then we check for the key and uh, if this is the a file or image URL, then slightly different processing is done. But at the end, we always call invoke OCR function. It's over here, and this is the place where we initialize uh, 
uh, we call load OCR model. This is the function, and it's um, annotated with LRU cache. This means that Paddle OCR uh, model, it's uh, it will be the same for all the requests for all the users. So we initialize it one and keep uh, once and keep it in the cache with this LRU cache annotation. Uh, this uh, speeds up the the function invocation significantly because uh, as the first time model is loaded, it's not reloaded again and just used from cache directly. And <clears throat> another thing, uh, when someone uploads the image, probably uh, like in our case, we don't want to store the image in disk because we don't want to deal with any kind of private data. We don't want to store images. So what we do here, we convert uh, uploaded image to the to bytes and uh, <clears throat> as the bytes data we send it to uh, Paddle OCR uh, method for the processing because Paddle OCR expects a file uh, as the input and uh, it doesn't work with the stream. So, so in this way, we create the bytes data without saving it uh, to the actual disk. And uh, the advantage is that as soon as the uh, session ends, uh, as soon as the request completes, then this data is being uh, automatically cleaned up. So there's no need to do any uh, extra cleaning from disk. Okay, so we get the model executed, we get back the result, and we uh, just parse the result, co construct the result set. This is a merge data method, but at this moment it's not uh, really doing anything, it just uh, uh, constructs the array of, uh, of the results uh, as a single array. And we return the data, also we log some statistics. And yeah, this is basically it. And under the requirements, um, in order to install uh, Paddle OCR when you uh, run the instance, and if you want to run it through the Docker container, then it will be it works just fine with Docker. And you need to make sure that you uh, list in the requirements Paddle Paddle and Paddle OCR, because Paddle OCR doesn't work by itself if Paddle Paddle as a platform is not installed. <coughs> and to make sure that um, uh, conversion from PDF to image works successfully, you need to install PDF to image and Python Poplar. And if you look into the Docker file, uh, one uh, tricky thing here is to make, uh, to make sure that Paddle OCR runs in a Docker container. Uh, first thing is you need to use Python 3.7 as Paddle OCR is certified with this Python version. And then you also need to install this uh, libgl1 method dev. Otherwise, uh, if this is not installed, you will get error uh, on um, on initial Paddle OCR model load. And the rest uh, of the things is you need to install Poplar Utils uh, uh, in order for PDF to image conversion to work uh, on the Docker container. And the rest is uh, you install all the requirements uh, from the as listed in this text file. Yeah, and this specific Docker file is uh, uh, designed to wo to work uh, with hiking face spaces, and for that reason, we create a user here, and uh, uh, grant uh, and, and then we grant some permissions to this user because uh, without that, on hiking face hugging face spaces, uh, the container would not be able to download data to disk. Yeah, so that that specific for uh, hugging face spaces. Okay, so thanks for watching, and uh, my point was to explain uh, how you could run uh, Paddle OCR uh, as a service using FastAPI application, and it works well. You can try on your end, just uh, clone the uh, Sparrow repo and try to run it on your environment and extract data from different kind of documents. And I implemented it to work with uh, uh, images like JP, JPG, PNG, and also it works with PDFs and uh, PDFs is, uh, PDF is how to convert it to the image for the, for the processing. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.